you so much. This is uh, this week and last week, in addition to being the festival season, as I mentioned earlier, this is also Allstate time. And I want to take a moment and recognize they are listed in your program, which is on the QR code. But could we have all of our Allstate musicians please stand? And if you are a percussionist or a bass player or whatever instrument you play, wave from the back if you are Allstate. I know we've got. So, how about a hand for our Allstate musicians? Mason, Mason Duran and Lee Paul Pepper just played their Allstate Jazz concert last week at URI, and it was amazing, and they did a, a, a great job. Amalia Costa just performed the Allstate Guitar Ensemble Sunday evening, and the majority of our students in the band orchestra choir have the privilege of being able to perform at Vets Auditorium in Providence, which is a magnificent place to play and to watch music and to listen to great music. So I'm going to be there all day on Sunday. I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. So uh, how about a big hand for all of our All-State students? Thank you. And uh, we also want to just um, encourage you, if, if, it, if, if you could indulge me, uh, this is a somewhat short concert. We would love to see all of you remain for the string orchestra and the orchestra performance of our concert, which is coming up right after this. Uh, we love all of our kids to have an audience. So. Thank you for, for doing that in advance. And I'm going to just give you a couple of notes on our last piece. So the last piece we're playing is actually a, uh, it's over 50 years old. It's called Chorale and Shaker Dance, written by a gentleman named John Zdechlik, uh, who I learned about when I was in grad school, and I subsequently programmed his works uh, many times over the last 30 some odd years. And uh, this piece is very unique. It's a great study of what a composer can do with ideas. This is all about taking simple ideas and how many different interesting things can we do and how can those motives, as we say in music, those ideas, how can those grow into a larger piece? So the first idea you'll hear right off the bat, measure one, measure two, measure